What is going on guys, Apple Fox here and there is a jailbreak for iOS 10. Well, it's a little bit more complex and the purpose of this video is to tell you everything you need to know about it. So without any further hesitation, let's get right into it. So you're probably asking if you can go ahead and jailbreak your iPhone at the moment. Yes, you can, but it is useless, at least at this point of time. So you can jailbreak your phone and open up Cydia, but that's basically all you can do. What I'm trying to say is that the Cydia substrate is not working right now. So it's possible to search for some tweaks, but you cannot get them to work. The reason it doesn't work is because the jailbreak we have right now is only at beta stage. You probably know what it means because we can see so many betas in terms of iOS. All of the iOS beta versions are meant to be the versions before the final, fully working one comes for public. And the same principle is applied here. So we know you can install Cydia even though it's useless, but it is possible on all devices. Surely not. This beta jailbreak can only be performed on iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, 6S and 6S Plus, and iPad Pro. That's all. In case your device is iPhone 6 or 6 Plus or older, it's not possible to get the non-working Cydia. It sounds kind of weird, but if the beta jailbreak isn't possible for iPhone 6, then the official one doesn't have to be either. So that's why it's such a big deal. Of course, no one ever said that these older devices won't receive the jailbreak, but it might happen. So these are the devices suitable for this jailbreak. But what iOS version has to be your device running? There are only two versions that are possible to be jailbroken and it is 10.1 and 10.1.1. iOS 10.2 does not work because it has simply been patched. What in case you have iOS 10.2 running on your device? Well, nothing. Apple lets you downgrade a couple days after the update is released, but now it's no longer possible. But when iOS 10.2 dropped, just like every time, I made a video to tell you all there is to know about it and I mentioned the possibility of the older iOS being jailbroken and if you are one of the people who want to have the abilities only jailbreak provides, you should have stayed on the 10.1.1. Another thing you need to know about it is that it's semi-tethered jailbreak. It basically means that once you turn off your phone, for whatever reason, maybe your battery dies or whatever it is, you're actually losing the jailbreak. It's not that difficult to get it back, but you need to plug in your phone into a computer again and do the whole process once again. So that's about it guys, I just wanted to make this video to inform you about the current status of jailbreak. Right now it's looking really great, but there is a rumor that this jailbreak is gonna be the last in a very long time. Anyways, thank you so much for your support and see you in the next one.